two, one. Beginning arrow assist. Drag within acceptable parameters. Descent phase begun. Decelerating. Deploying parachute. Deploying backup parachute. Skipping parachute. Landing phase begun. Activating retro propulsion. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this short one I'll give you a few beginner tips for Satisfactory. This game has sat in my Steam library for years while it was in early access. And I even missed the 1.0 release earlier this month. So without further ado, let's get into it. Tip number one. If you are new to the game, don't skip the intro and start in the grass fields biome good resource distribution and density from what I can see and it's relatively flat so you can easily expand. Tip number two, don't rush with your initial base placement. Ideally you want all three of the following resources within your reach, you know, iron, limestone and copper. And have them on the same plane if you can because you won't have uh, any good way to design conveyor belts if one or more resources are on top of a rocky hill or something. After you mine an ore location, you can keep mining on that spot forever if you want. You'll just get a fraction of raw materials in return. This is a good idea especially early because these extraction locations are guarded by those pesky dogs and you don't want to run around too much mining stuff. Yeah, it's a bit slower but I'm pretty sure it's the way of mining, at least in this stage when you're doing it manually. Tip number four. When you want to build something, have the required materials on you. Sadly, the game doesn't take materials from your storage. But luckily, you will not have too many issues with inventory space as the stacks in this game are pretty well thought out. Some materials can get up to 500 per stack. Tip number 5. Do the onboarding objectives as you can do them because on each milestone you unlock more buildings, more materials and even equipment slots and inventory upgrades. So at least in the beginning this stuff is crucial. You want smelters, power lines, conveyor belts and new scannable resources as fast as possible. Tip number 6. Power up your base you kinda need copper to make wires and stuff. So you can connect your buildings and start generating electricity with biomass. This is why I recommend you to search for a place with all the three starting resources nearby. Tip number 7. You should always add buildings to your to-do list if you don't have all required materials so you can keep track of what you still need. This takes into account only the material on your character. Tip number 8. When building, holding control key aligns what you want to build to another input or output of the nearest building. This makes building a lot easier, especially later when you have more, I don't know, complex production chains. Orange arrows are where the stuff goes in and green arrows are where the stuff comes out. Tip number 9. Use MAM, the Molecular Analysis Machine, to do some research. You'll often stumble upon special resources. Doing so will unlock more cool stuff for you to enjoy. So Ludos, hog remains, all seeds you can see, snails, mushrooms and all that. Don't worry too much about your health as it regens pretty fast. The summer sloop was named after Marie Somerville. And finally the tip number 10. Follow the objectives displayed in the top right of your screen. Usually they point you to what your next milestone should be. In this case I need to do the part assembly one so I can craft smart platings. So this is your first complex production chain. You'll probably want two iron mines, each feeding one of the two parts needed, one for rotors and one for the reinforced iron plates. At this stage you really want to use splitters and mergers. As you will see assemblers have two inputs and you'll need some space and planning behind them. I didn't do... <laughs> 
I didn't do any planning and I suggest you do the same at first because you'll figure out on your own how to do it next time. The, the first playthrough will be a mess anyway, in one way or another. I ran out of space here and I just built stuff to plug everything and make my chain but this is <laughs> far from optimal. So yeah, these are my 10 beginner tips for uh, satisfactory. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to have more time and play this of course. And I'll probably review the game later after I see everything it has to offer. Until next time, take care and see ya.